Great Northern Paper in East Millinocket is bankrupt. We recently learned hundreds of temporary layoffs are permanent. Now the paper mill's fate is becoming a political issue. Independent gubernatorial candidate Elliot Cutler says Governor LePage did not do his homework before inking a deal with investors, and now taxpayers are left holding the bag. WMTW News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill is live in Portland to explain his reasoning. Paul? Steve Cutler says Governor LePage and other legislators changed laws to enable a sweetheart deal for Kate Street Capital. That's the company that came in and bought two failing paper mills in northern Maine. The Cutler campaign says some investors who are part of this deal stand to make $16 million off a $10 million investment, even though efforts to revive the mill have failed. Late this afternoon, the LePage administration fired back. The state's commissioner of economic and community development says the governor's efforts kept mill workers employed for more than two years. The commissioner says Cutler is confusing and politicizing the issue. Cutler says this was a bad business venture from the get-go and the governor should have seen this coming from a mile away. They'll get checks for nearly 16 million dollars of Maine taxpayers money over the next five years despite the fact that the project in which they invested is gone. It's another case where Wall Street wins and Main Street loses, where the people can't win and the investors can't lose. The state's economic commissioner says at the time it was either Kate Street Capital or just letting these mills go belly up altogether. So they only had one choice if they wanted to keep those people up in Millinocket and East Millinocket working. The commissioner also told us today that what Cutler is doing today, politicizing this issue in his words, could scare off potential investors who are thinking about coming in and trying to revive these mills. Live in Portland, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.